Hi again. Um, today we're going to be making a very, very big lunch. First things first, I'm going to be starting off with the garlic bread. To make the garlic bread, we're going to need butter, we're going to need Parmesan cheese, and we're going to need garlic, of course, and a bunch of different spices. I've got myself some parsley, some oregano, some basil, some thyme, salt, and pepper. That's what we're going to be using to make the butter mix for the garlic bread. Now first things first, we still have a little bit of these Italian spices here. We're basically going to take a tablespoon of each and mix them to make our spice mix. So let me just make sure we're in the right place. Yes. So this is what we're going to be using for our garlic bread. We'll need basically a tablespoon of oregano. Put that in there, don't be shy. Then, a tablespoon of basil. A tablespoon of parsley, and we'll pick up the fallen basil. And finally, the thyme. Take a nice healthy tablespoon of this thyme and throw it in there too. This is basically the basis of most Italian seasonings. Some of them have margarine in them too, but I'm not going to be putting that in today. And for that, we're going to basically be putting in a teaspoon compared to the tablespoon of black pepper. So I'd say this is about a teaspoon, throw it in. The salt and pepper we can adjust later, but we'll also put in a little bit of crushed red pepper, not too much, because this is just the Italian seasoning we want. Just mix it up, mix it up good, and we have got ourselves some basic, basic Italian seasoning. Anyway, we're going to be mixing with the, with the butter and with the sauce for the meal we're going to be making. Talk to you soon. Now, as to the garlic, we're probably going to be using three or four healthy sized cloves. So first things first, we just want to break them open and take the top off before we put them in the mortar and the pestle. We just crush the piece of garlic down with the skin on it and everything under the big knife and then we cut off the end and throw that in the garbage. The skin and everything in the end. Put that in the mortar and pestle. Same thing with the second one. Same thing with all of them basically. Just get the skin off and the stem. And then we'll be ready to grind them up with a little bit of um, rock salt. A little bit of crushed uh, sea kosher salt. So anyway. Take the end off and put the piece of garlic in the mortar and pestle. We got all that peeled. It goes in the mortar and pestle, and all of this goes in the garbage. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, now that we've got all the garlic in the mortar and pestle, the four pieces or so. Pretty nice healthy pieces. We're going to take some rock salt and put it on top, just like a little pinch, maybe like half a teaspoon with the rock salt. And we are going to crush this down into a delicious mass of pure, fresh garlic. So make sure you crush it into oblivion. We don't want any scales holding to each other. We want it to be well broken up. So it's very easy to mix with the butter. Make sure you get all the corners and just get this crushed. And do some manual crushing too instead of the pounding to get any pieces that you think you missed. But we want it to be oily and finely, finely broken up. Now this is about four cloves. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is what you want it to look like. Just completely crushed up. You know, see this little piece here? You get that. You just get it all. Anyway, we got the garlic crushed up. It's 
time to mix in the butter. So now we've got about 125 grams, half of a block of butter. I don't know, maybe that's about um, almost a whole stick of butter according to American measurements. But anyway, 125 grams of butter. And we've got the mortar and pestle, which has got the garlic there. We've got our Italian spices to mix with that. And we've got the Parmesan cheese, which you would see right ahead of you. Anyway, we're gonna put the butter in and soften that with the garlic. Make sure to just get everything well mixed and incorporated. So, take the butter, put it in the mortar and pestle, and from there we just pound it down into the butter, just to soften it and get it well mixed with the garlic. Then let's take like a nice healthy pinch of the Italian spices, throw that on top, and just mash it until it becomes really, really manageable. I'll show you what it'll look like. Okay, now we've mashed the butter up with the garlic and the herbs quite nicely. We've got ourselves a nice little paste here. We're gonna throw in the Parmesan cheese and mash it even further, making sure to get everything well mixed. Now this is enough garlic to easily do a whole loaf of uh, French bread. So anyway, let's just put maybe two tablespoons of the cheese in there and it will melt wonderfully with the butter. So. Just mash this in there, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're ready to assemble the garlic bread. Talk to you soon. So, we've got ourselves this delicious, beautiful uh, Parmesan uh, butter, garlic, and herb mixture that we're going to put on the bread. And we've got ourselves a nice baguette here to put it on, and the baking pan that you basically see there to bake it in. We've got the oven set on the highest it goes with bottom heat coming down and top heat. So, all we want to do is cut this bad boy open. We can find the appropriate one. And from there we're going to slather on this wonderful butter mixture. So cut it through completely like this. Cut it through, cut it through, and now that we've got it cut and through, opened, we cut it in half so it can all fit in the pan. Then, we take the pan, put it down, and we start putting this wonderful mixture on top. Can't wait, it smells so good, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really good. So we take a good amount, like a, more than a tablespoon, Start in the corner of the bread just to get on every nook and cranny, every part of the bread. Get it completely spread because this is delicious. And basically we've almost done one of the four garlic breads. I'll show you what it looks like when they are done. Okay, now that we've got these four pieces of bread well buttered, we are going to put some moats around the cheese on top to melt on top. We basically know when the cheese is melted a little bit crispy brownish and there's some brown is going around the edges of the bread, we know it's done. Not much, you know, we're not making pizza here, we're not making anything special, it's just a garnish. So basically just like maybe a tablespoon or two for each piece. We don't want to overpower it with the cheese. We already have butter or garlic going on here. So we just want to keep it simple. You know, this bread will go well when we dip it in the tomato sauce. This is just part of the lunch I'm making. I'm not even really interested in the garlic bread. Today, I'm making not a Philly cheesesteak, you heard me, not a Philly cheesesteak, but a pizza Philly cheesesteak. A Philly cheesesteak with a pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese basically going in this madness. So, let's see, we've got ourselves the garlic bread there with the cheese. We've got our oven on the highest. We are gonna just pop it in and cook it until it's done. It should be at most about 10-15 um, minutes on the highest heat with the broiler coming down. Just until you see some brownness around the edges. I'll get back to you when this is done. It is gonna be so, 
so, so, so good. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys when I take it out. Bye. Okay, so the garlic bread seems to be done. We're gonna take it out of the oven now and take a look. It smells wonderful. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. That's how easy it is to make. And you take this, you dip it in your sauces. You have a big spaghetti with uh, meatballs on top. And you use this to sop up the extra sauce. It is good. It's garlic bread and it burns. So we move it and we just take each piece and put it, take it off the baking pan. And put it ah, like this. And we've got ourselves a plate of lovely, delicious, wonderful garlic bread. Thank you guys for watching, and soon we'll be on to the rest. Talk to you soon.